Hey everybody, I'm back. Just going to show you what's going on here um, outside on the bench. It's getting a little toasty out here, so I got to get moving here this morning. But just wanted to show where I'm at on the uh, some of my large scale stuff. Uh, this is the 1 8 scale 1978 Corvette, which you can see um, I've been sanding on. So that that's where I'm at now. I'm doing the body work. Um, pretty much, I'm, I'm going over the entire body, working down any. Uh, you know the high points that you know sharp edges on everything um, this body was really really warped so I had to do some tweaking with a heat gun which I never do that I don't like doing that and it got better um, but I ended up having to use the t-tops um, kind of to force the shape in place on this and it's still a little low on the driver's side that's where it was crushed uh, I think in the box over the years and it had gotten shoved way down the chassis was warped even the interior was twisted so all of that I had to just lightly keep warming with the heat gun and working it but anyway I, I glued the t-tops in place I was never a fan of t-tops even when I owned one of these cars they're just a pain in the ass and just one more thing to leak so um, I, they were of course they were crooked they were a little you know up on one side uh, so, I, you know, I've been sanding that down with some rough stuff to, to try to get that just looking a little bit better. The hood, uh, I had cut this, I had to, when I did my cut, I had to cut all the way back uh, just to get a clean cut. Uh, you probably saw that in some of the earlier pictures. And now I have spliced back in a piece into the, the back area because you could see part of the cowl on the firewall, which I didn't want to do that. So I used some sheet plastruct, went back in, I grafted that in. I still got a little bit of, uh, this is my first coat of primer after sanding and filling. I got a little bit of a line there, so I'm gonna do another coat of uh, mud on there and then go back and I'll find that down again. So that, that's coming along pretty good. Uh, the body itself, there was just there's a few blemishes, you know, and there always is, especially something this big. You're going to get a few blemishes. Um, I got the spoilers on. Front one went on easy. Actually fit pretty well. The back one was a total pain in the ass. Did not want to stay in place and kept sliding on me. Finally got that in there straight and I'm working that down now too. You can see I'm working around these bottom edges sanding. I tell you this this model kit is no different than these cars uh, were are in real life. Um, we had a 1980 um, I love these cars. I love driving that car. Um, I had a '76. Uh, any of the uh, any of the rubber bumper cars, the damn things just never fit. I mean, you always had bumps and bruises on on the real cars. And I had friends that had these cars. I've helped them take these front ends off these cars to do work and putting them back on and just trying to get a consistent line out of them is like pulling teeth. And if you if you guys have ever had one of these cars. Or you currently own one you know what i'm talking about because over time especially uh these impact bumpers rubber bumpers um they shrink around where the bolts are where they're drawn up to the back of the car you get some depressions in there it's hard to get them out you know they do make fiberglass replacements for the front and the rear end a lot of my friends switched theirs out uh, my car had gotten wrecked and uh, i ended up I, on my 76 anyway i ended up putting the rear end off of a 75 on it um, which which fit you know and it was okay it wasn't perfect but that's you know that's just that's just the way these cars are but I still like them I mean I that 1980 <clears throat> drove so much better than the 76 I had that was a, a you know one of those years where you just had a nice improvement in suspension and handling and it just it's such a pretty car it really was I, I'd like to have one again uh, we had white on uh, it was white on black and gray black and gray interior and uh, just a beautiful car. And we ended up customizing that one big time with Eckler's parts. We had a big whale tail on the back of it and we had side pipes and we, we did a lot with that car. And we showed that car, it was a national champion car uh, here in Florida, I think 1981 or 82. I, could probably, I think 82 probably, uh, it was a national champion car. And my mom had a 74 Corvette uh, that was also a, a national champion car. It was uh, burgundy with the gold plated rims and uh, all the little, you know, the doorknobs and all that stuff and the, the badges and everything were all gold plated, which back then you didn't see that. They, they were just kind of starting to do that, that gold plating kind of stuff. So uh, she had big heavy wire wheels that were gold plated on. So it was a, it was a real showstopper back then. But uh, anyway, getting back to the model. So then this morning I'm getting ready to, you can see my hydroplane hull um, turned white. 
the humidity got it uh, with I did intercoat clear on it last weekend and the humidity turned it white bottoms good don't have to redo that I'm reshooting the top of this this morning so get that done <clears throat> this is the Tom Daniels mean Maverick body which I've also been working on um, this was in pretty rough condition uh, this was a glue bomb so um, you managed to get the rear glasses out. I had the tape off the front glass. No way to get it out. Uh, it was built by a kid back in the day, and there's just a, just an enormous amount of glue on this. But I'm going to get this in base coat silver this morning too, and um, that is a long-term kit because the uh, um, the chassis and all the working components are just in really really bad condition. Some of the parts are missing, so I'm going to have to fabricate <coughs> chassis components for that. So you're not going to see that one for a long time that's one of those things I, I just don't feel like diving into another restoration right now I've done so many restoration jobs in the last year on these kits and stuff that I really wanted in my collection so it's fine but I just right now I just I, my heart's not in it so I'm not going to do it but anyway I'm going to paint and uh, I will probably splice into this with uh, another video later so stay tuned and uh, I'll probably be back in a bit thanks sir